if you're not careful and you no clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you will end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old, moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum humbuzz, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby, because it sure as hell has heard you. Level 9. The Suburbs. Survival Difficulty. Class 5. Unsafe. Unsecure. Entity Infestation. Level 9 is the 10th level of the back rooms. This level appears to be an infinite suburban area. Description. Level 9 is an infinite suburban area in midnight. This level has the same darkness similar to that of level 6, but not as dangerous. The houses vary in design and size, and each are completely different. Although, there are reports of spotting two houses near each other that are exactly the same. The houses of level 9 appear to be furnished and fairly new, although there is no power source for the lighting systems to function. Some houses have a chance of being completely empty. Many useful objects can be found inside of these houses and areas similar to them. The furniture of these houses is what a person would expect for a normal house, such as sofas, televisions, beds, refrigerators, etc. The items that require a power source are unfunctional due to the missing requirement of a power source. Some of these houses have fully furnished yards at the back of the house. Another anomalous property of this level is that you can find two houses weirdly clipped inside of each other when traveling too far, which is physically impossible. The streets of level 9 is the more dangerous area of the level. The wet asphalt roads are unpainted and are covered with leaves in some areas. The puddles in some spots of the roads indicates that the level had once rained before. The stone sidewalks are normal and don't seem to have any anomalous oddities. Any walkways that lead to grass fields will lead to level 9.1. Wandering off the walkway into the fields will, for some reason, lead to level 10. The street lamps are usually powered off and are inactive, although some flicker off and on and are sometimes even powered. It is unknown where the power originates. Be aware of the foggy mist that can appear, due to the fog being the spawning mechanism for the mangled. Entities that can appear in level 9 are Death Moths, Smilers, Skin Stealers, Jerry, Hounds, Transporters, Death Rats, Anethicas, and many wretches. Sightings of the Frayed and the Arachnids have been reported, but it seems that they have wandered into level 9 from level 8. Level 9 also includes some of its own special entities. The most notable ones include the Neighborhood Watch, the Observer, and the Mangled. Bases, Outposts, and Communities There are a few groups that live and roam level 9, as it is completely possible for groups to be set up in level 9, although this is a very dangerous task and none have been recorded for this entry at the moment. Discovery Level 9 was discovered when a post published by u Bartonius, one of the members of the Missing Explorers group. After he and the rest of the group fell through the floor on level 8, he claimed to have been dreaming and claims that this level doesn't exist. Although the claim was false, it is still unknown how the Explorers group disappeared. Here's what the post reads. I fell through the floor. I sunk down and landed in an unfamiliar place. There were no spiders, but I still felt like I was being watched. Around me there was a street, houses, and dead trees everywhere. My head felt, and still feels, fuzzy. Like TV static in my brain. I lost consciousness, but apparently had an outburst, according to Centurion. I was talking about death, pain, Weakness. All kinds of awful things. Level 9 is level 6 on crack. I can tell there are going to be things, but the effects on your mind are bad. Almost, almost as bad as level 6. 
The explorers were never found after the publishing of this post. Entrances and exits. Entrances. To enter, falling through the floor randomly in level 8 is the main method of entering level 9 for most wanderers. Crawling up the sewer grate in level 34 will lead to level 9. One of the many doors inside level 92 can lead to level 9 as well as other levels. The revolving door in level 40 will lead to level 9. The yellow arcade cabinet in level 25 will lead to this level. Entering one of the doors in level 54 will lead to level 9. The animated houses of level 94 can rarely bring you to this level. Break the window in level 87 to enter level 9. The backyard of level 104 will lead to level 9 after exiting the level. Exits To exit, following the arrow street signs will soon lead to level 11 after 100 to 200 miles, although this will only be the case when following the signs. Walkways that lead to grass fields will lead to either 9.1 or level 10. Level 60 can be accessed by no clipping through the street floor in level 9. Entering a house will have a chance to randomly transport you to level 53. Following the electric power lines has a chance to bring you to level 113. An airport can be found while following the signs to level 11. Enter the airport to be transported to level 36. No clipping will lead to the first few negative levels. Finding a playground and crawling through any kind of tube structure with white glowing interior windows will commonly teleport to level 283's tubes.